Haha ha guys this is Enrique, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to model a beer in can, using Blender software. So let's get started. First, let's get some reference photo, and import. Then add a cylinder, resize it, until it matches the size and figure of reference photo. Change to wireframe view, then bump the scale on z-axis, until it fits with the height of the can. Go to edit mode by pressing tab, and create around 4 loop cuts by pressing Ctrl R. Select the first loop cut above and drag it on top of the can. I'll click on this loop cut, to select the entire edge loop. Then start scaling in, this is to give some details to the can. Select another loop cut, drag it down, then again. Scale it in, drag it down, scale it in. Switch to solid mode. Go to the top of the can. Change to face selection. Select the top of the can. Scale it in. Extrude it down. Extrude it in. Then extrude it up. Next, go to the bottom face of the can. Extrude it in. Extrude it up. Let's hide the reference for now, select the bottom face. Then I'm gonna start extruding it in again. Then extrude it down. Next apply subdivision surface modifier. Go to edit mode, create a loop cut, and drag it on the edge of the can. To add some details, I'm also gonna add some loop cut here. As you can see, the top of the can, is not smooth. To fix this, go back to the top of the can. Then I'll click to the edge loop, scale it in. Create a loop by pressing Ctrl R, then scale it out. Then create another edge loops here, to add more details to the edges. See, the top surface now becomes, smooth. Go to the can bottom and do the same thing. Next, add another cylinder. Then let's also add the can top image as our reference. Select the cylinder, and switch to wireframe mode. Select the edges of the cylinder on the right side. Drag it to the right. Select the edges of the cylinder on the left side, then drag it to the left. Scale it in, resize the object until it matches the figure of the can lever. Next, apply the transform by pressing Ctrl A on the keyboard. Hit all transform, resize the lever on its z-axis. Apply all transform, go to modifier tab and apply bevel, increase the segments into 5, set the origin of the lever on its center. Apply shade smooth, Bring down the lever on the can top, resize until it fits. Select the can body, increase the levels viewport into 2, then hit apply. Next, with the can body selected, apply boolean modifier. Go to eyedropper tool and select the lever. This will now create a groove on a can top. I don't know what it's called, you can comment down below if you know it ha ha ha. Next, apply the boolean, switch on the X-ray mode then add another cylinder. Scale it down, switch to edit mode. 
Select the edges on the right side, drag it to the right, scale it down until it fits with the size of the lever. Duplicate the cylinder by pressing Shift D on the keyboard. Select the duplicate, go to edit mode, toggle on the proportional editing by pressing O on the keyboard, select one edge on the right side, and drag it to the left. Go to solid mode, resize until it fits with the first cylinder. Add another cylinder, resize it. Go to edit mode. Select the edges on the right side, drag it to the right by pressing G on the keyboard, then scale it in. Go to solid mode, resize until it fits with the first cylinder. Select the first cylinder, apply transform, then apply also bevel, increase the segments into 6. Change the amount value into 0 0.01. Let's try to make the segments 5 instead, pretty good. Scale down into Z axis, ok. Let's adjust again the bevel setting. Then apply shade smooth, now, select the second cylinder, drag it on the first cylinder, apply boolean on the first cylinder, then select the second cylinder as object. Now let's hide the second cylinder, then do the same thing on the third cylinder. Next, apply the boolean modifiers, and shade smooth. Let's add another cylinder, scale it down. Wireframe mode. Select one of the points on the top side, then drag it down, make sure the proportional editing is on. Alright. Go to solid mode. Drag the cylinder down until it touches the can top. Select the can body, apply boolean modifier, select cylinder as object, select the cylinder, then hide it. Let's reveal it again, then duplicate. Scale down the duplicate a bit, select the can body, apply the second boolean, then select the duplicate cylinder as object. Now, select the duplicate and hide. As you can see, we have now formed the mouth of the can. Now, select the can body and shade smooth, then we can now apply the boolean modifiers. OK. Let's activate again the screencast piece. Go to edit mode, alt click on the can body to select the entire edges. Press C, then while holding the alt button, erase the edges on can top, then do the same thing on the bottom. Click UV, then mark C. Next, we're gonna create our texture. To do that, open your beacon on Photoshop. Key out the beer, then scale up the beer to fill out the frame using distort and warp. Drag the texture until it fills the frame. Next, open another beer texture of different angle, and do the same process until it fills the entire frame. Then refine the texture by removing the sharp edges. You can also increase the color saturation a bit based on your liking. OK, once finished, go back to Blender, open the can model, go to Material View, open another window. Select Shader Editor. Go to Material tab, click New, rename it as Can Metal, increase Metallic to 1. Roughness into about 0 0.30. Next, go to Edit Mode, with the X-Ray Mode on, select the body of the can. Click the plus icon. Click New. I'm gonna rename it as Image Texture. 
Go to Shader Editor Panel, add an image texture node by pressing Shift A, click Open. Then select the image texture that we have created, then connect the color to base color. As you can see, nothing happened, it's because we have not yet assigned the material. Now click assign and boom, our image texture now appears on the cam. As you can see, we have a little problem here. The image texture also appears on can top. To fix this, we just have to select the faces on top. Click the can metal material then hit assign. Another thing that we can do is to adjust the exposure of the texture. To do that, we just have to add RGB curves here, then adjust the curves according to your likings. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one, bye.